there is no hot water, which is the sign right now. 90% of the time is the whole darn development that goes down. If you actually feel the pipes, you tell me where you feel the heat at. <laughs> you can feel it for yourself. After a while, you almost kind of get used to it, and you don't want to get used to that. You're taking away a person's humanity, humanity. And, and people should not have to suffer and live like that because they're not savages in the pursuit of happiness. Mr. Drum Gautier, president of Brooklyn Houses, since August 2016, duly elected and sworn in by the city council on this band. Well, I had over 25 to 30 calls a day, you know, and it's been going on for the last 15 years. This is nothing new to Nitro in the Brooklyn Houses. We're talking about the, the, uh, uh, humility, you understand what I'm saying? We're talking about uh, teaching people, treating people with dignity. There's no one here that are, that are third class uh, uh, citizens here. Hey, stranger! Why yeah. don't you get all powdered up? I can get powdered up. <laughs> I gotta dress up with anything else. Okay. The heat hasn't been on in the bathroom for a couple of months, and I don't understand the reason why. My name is Annette Tomlin. I'm a resident of Brook Ellen Houses. I've been here for over 20 years. You have to put on a jacket, a robe. It's cold. And I live on top of the boiler. You know, I'm on the first floor. And if I don't get any heat, I'm quite sure that my neighbor upstairs and on the third floor, they don't get any heat either. When there is hot water, it's too hot because it's not regulated. And then that's another issue. And then if not, if it's too much heat, because it's not regulated, you're sitting here like it's a sauna. Test it for yourself. See? You heard that? I said, I'm not quite sure. If they actually um, are going to fix the inter, what you call it, infrastructure of the pipes, but they've been here for as long as the buildings have been you know, built. It's difficult. We shouldn't have to live like this. We shouldn't have to live like this at all. Okay, we pay rent, we render the service, and we expect to get our services. It's not right. And at times I would have to come like this here like this here, to keep warm. Two or three o'clock in the morning. Me and my, I would have to leave this on so the, so the steam you know, can bring up some heat. This is a gas line, and you cannot, you're not supposed to have the stove open because that's gas escaping. This is why there's a door here, so the gas does not escape. As you know, the same with you turn the car on, it's all toxics, you know? It's terrible. Parents come home from work, they don't want to see garbage. They don't want to be without heat. They want to take a hot shower. What are they going to do, boil the water? And throw it in the tub. They're talking about a person should not have to put his coat on, you understand, to cook or, 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 or to go to the bathroom or to use the toilet stool. You know, that's absurd. to the people that are suffering, our senior citizen like the lady, 100 years old, for three or four years she hasn't had a, a working stove and working with gas, you know, the toxic that's going into her. And it should be unexcusable, unacceptable, in any shape, form, and fashion, that people should have to live in this shape, form, and fashion of no heat, no hot water, no stove, or close out tickets, ceilings falling down. There's no in-between, there's no fair when it comes to heat and hot water, there's no fair. <laughs>